Welcome to my channel. This is an indication of some of the things that I cover on a regular basis in my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. And don't forget to click the little bell so that you'll get notified of future videos. Please feel free to share my videos on your social media. And I hope you enjoy the video which follows. Well, as the title indicated, this is to make no need uh, sourdough dinner rolls and with no additional yeast added, just using the sourdough starter. Haven't made them before, so we'll see how this actually works out. Um, since it is no need, I'm not getting out the stand mixer. I'm just going to do it in a bowl here. And I'll add the ingredients and tell you what they are one at a time, I guess. This is three and a half cups of bread flour, uh, 770 grams, if you want that in weight. I'll put the link to this recipe down below. A half teaspoon of salt. One and a quarter cups of, it says warm water. I'm just using sort of a tepid water. And three quarters of a cup of sourdough starter. And of course, depending on how thick or thin your sourdough starter is, the amount of water or the amount of flour might have to be adjusted. That's three quarters of a cup of my my starter anyway. And mix until you get a consistency of a dough here. It doesn't have to be kneaded but of course it has to be thoroughly combined. chance to get a hand in there might be better. I would say, if I'm going to get that flour incorporated, I need a bit more water. For no need bread, I'm kind of needing it, I think. Well, not to the amount that you would have to need for 10 minutes or so to make bread, but I'm trying to get that amount of flour incorporated here. I guess I'm getting close. We have got it. Now, just sort of shape this into a, a ball of some sort as much as possible. Let me get something off my fingers here. It smells good anyway. Now this gets covered and just sits at room temperature in a relatively warm room uh, for, well, for overnight it says, so 10, 12 hours, whatever. So I will bring you back on day two and we see if we can make this into a dinner roll. Well, it's day two and this has been sitting doing its rising overnight. 
and as you can see it did a pretty good job of it I guess the sourdough culture is nice and active just going to deflate it and I'll be shaping it into rolls but I want to weigh it first I like to uh, try to get my rolls roughly the same size and I have my scales set up here with a piece of parchment paper on it weighing it in metric but you could the scale will do either metric or pounds and ounces So, 1240 grams, 1.24 kilograms in other words. So I will do my calculation for a dozen rolls and come back in just a moment. Well the calculation works out to around 103 grams per roll, so anywhere in the 100 gram range will be fine I guess. I'll just divide this into, into a dozen pieces. I've done that part. Well, there they are roughly divided, not accurately, but somewhere as close to 100, 100 grams, 103 grams each one. I just take each piece of dough like it were a loaf of bread, and this is what I usually do with my loaf of bread, is folding the ends over. It gives you a tighter surface area, and then I round them off. suspect I'll probably have to have two sheets I guess because I think these are fairly substantial rolls Hope you can see what I'm doing nothing terribly complicated just taking the outside edges and folding it in towards the middle until you have a smooth top on it and then rolling it around on the board to sort of seal the bottom over Do one more and then I'll bring you back and show you what everything looks like once I've done all 12. Well, I discovered the maximum that I would get on a sheet was eight, so I had to use two sheets, so I divided it. I put six on each. I suspect these are going to be a fairly substantial dinner roll by the time they finish rising and baking, but they said they should be two inches apart, so I've got them roughly two inches apart, I guess, or maybe more in some directions there. These now get set aside at a, in a warm location, covered, for two hours to do some proving before you bake them because sourdough yeast is a natural wild yeast it's very mild and, and takes longer periods of time to, to raise from my experience in the past you don't notice a great deal when the two hours is up not that I've made these exact rolls before but uh, it does form a lot of air bubbles inside the, the dough and when it goes in the oven those expand rapidly and causes them to get quite a bit of what they call oven spring. They grow quite a bit once they're, once they're in the oven. Bring you back in a couple of hours time when they're ready to bake. Well, they've had their two hours to do some proving and now you have to slash each one before putting it in the oven. The oven has been preheated to uh, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm using a razor blade. This will allow them to expand. And now they get baked for it says 25 to 28 minutes at 425, so I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. 
Well, they certainly did rise some in the oven. Some of them you know, split and spread wide open. That one there didn't seem to do much at all. They are supposed to be crusty. Of course, at this stage, just out of the oven, they're very solid. I think I'm going to brush them with butter. I would like them a little softer than they appear to be right there. We'll come back in a minute or two here with some melted butter to brush on them. Once I finish doing this, I'll take them off the trays and put them on a rack to cool. And then we'll try one. They smell delicious. Well, they're still very hot. I'll let them cool a little bit longer and then we'll try one. Well, I'm glad that I added the, the butter to the top. It did soften the crust quite a bit. I'm going to cut this in two. Not that you would normally cut a dinner roll. But I want to see what the inside looks like. Oh, not bad at all. And the smell is a nice sourdough smell. The butter's gone askew here in the butter dish. That is good, very good. Still has a nice crisp, crunchy crust. I'm talking with my mouthful. The interior is nice and soft. And it has a lovely sourdough flavor to it. So and those are definitely something that I would do again. It was a good day for baking. <laughs> of course, you've seen the rolls that I just finished making. I have made all of my own sourdough bread. I haven't bought a loaf of bread since I started making sourdough a year ago when I was getting low. So today I made a multigrain sourdough loaf. And if you watched my uh, video on making the almond croissant, I had half of that pastry, the puff pastry, was left over. So I thawed that out and made some just plain croissant, lots of crispy crust and butter. Well, thank you very much for watching. I'll get this uploaded on YouTube.